Welcome back to Payne Society Uncut, where we're building the project car that you much rather see. No Ferrari, Lamborghini, or supercar on this channel. We are building a 2003 Honda Civic. That's right, let's check it out. All right, so let's put it in park and let's not turn off the engine because I don't know if we're gonna be able to get out of here, but I brought my hammer just in case to tap on that starter. Yeah, we're still working on a lock mechanism here, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull that. Kind of reminds me of an episode of Pimp My Ride. So you wanna be a player, but your ride ain't fly. You gotta hit me up to get a pimped out ride. Not sure if I wanna close the door, but I do have tape because it's not really locking. Now, before we go ahead and check out the car, this car is a gift from my dear friend and eh, doesn't run the best, got a lot of issues. So we're only gonna focus on this to help you guys with your paint. I really wanna do something crazy with it, but let's go ahead and let's check it out. Yeah, so here's a project guys and you know my buddy says take on this project because you know what use it for your subscribers maybe you can you can even keep the car i don't even care i don't use it it's just sitting we're going to start with our first project we're going to learn a little bit about the eastwood primer we're going to actually roll on the primer that's kind of wild let's see if it even works and then we're going to kind of test theories you know can we just put clear over this i know the answer but i want to show you overall the car you know it's all there it's all matching except for you know a couple parts Eh, an aftermarket fender, an aftermarket bumper, some OEM headlights, and a rear aftermarket bumper. So upon taking this car, I invited my mechanic friend over and I said, maybe we can make a few bucks, clean this car up, and sell it to someone that might need it. He took one drive in that car, and he could tell you that this car is not worth putting one cent into mechanically. So we've already figured out that we don't really want to work with it too much. Maybe we'll fix up a couple things. But once we go ahead and put some crazy paint job on here, then it's gonna start to attract some attention. So here's my plan. My plan is I wanna use you guys. What do you think in the comments we should do for this? For me, I wanted to make this super tacky, super crazy. This car might even go to the junkyard when it's done. We might donate it, I don't know. I wanna put some crazy, crazy paint job. Maybe orange, I don't even care if it's single stage, green, lime. I even thought about doing a 1990s theme with stupid fiberglass kits and a high spoiler just to make it super tacky. I know that's tacky, but there's no rules with this car. So let me know what you think about that. Let's check out some more. Yeah, check out that engine. Here's my favorite part come over here and look at this it lost the oil cap that's kind of crazy so we're gonna have to probably fix that at least if we're gonna drive this car around town you know everything else is there it is running and the best part ice cold ac this made it manageable eh seats might be a little bit dirty but the radio definitely works the locks don't work too well a little bit dirty can be cleaned up if we do want to donate it Fender liner is a little bit jacked up. Body work only really consists of little small dents and dinks, which I think would be a great learning experience for you guys. Worn out paint just needs a good sanding and maybe epoxy and primer. And what do you think about blacking out these taillights? Do you guys want to learn how to black taillights out with VHT or any sort of spray can? We'll even take it a step further and black out the emblems if you want to learn about that. Tint removal, that's not a hard one. We can show you how to do that as well. We can make this an overall project car to shoot your ideas down in the comments so we can have ideas of what we can teach you. What do you think we should do with the hubcaps? Should we change the color? Should we keep hubcaps? Should we get wheels, cheap wheels? I don't want to spend too much on here. I just really want to put my labor into it. I'm okay with labor because it's free. Headlights could definitely use a nice sanding and re-clearing. Don't know how this uh, nozzle got here, but I think it's supposed to be inside the engine for the uh, washer fluid. 175 on the clock, but Eh, usually Hondas can go forever, but with only 175 on the clock, all my buddies laughed at me. All my techs at Acura said, you are insane. Why did you pick this piece of garbage up? They said that 2003 Honda Civic, that generation is one of the worst built generations that Honda has put out. He says leaking gas pipes, transmission goes bad. Everything in the interior just goes to crap. So I kind of felt bad about that. So I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and just make it about the exterior because that's what we can fix. And that's what I want you guys to learn on this channel. So that's gonna conclude the introduction on this 2003 Honda Civic. What do you think? Am I crazy? Should I put a dime of my time into this car? Well, it's for you guys. So make sure you tell me in the comments what you want to learn. 
This car has a little bit about everything. It has a little problem in regards to every type of paint issue there could be. So that's why I chose it because I feel like this is a more relatable car than any other car or high-end build on other YouTube channels, which is why we picked it out. So I hope you like it. I hope it's a good learning experience for you all. And let's see what's to come in the future. But until then, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. We'll see you guys on the next one. And to follow up what's to come in the next few videos, we are going to be testing out Eastwood's OptiCoat Primer, a new primer that is essentially just a roll-on primer. Now, this primer claims it was developed for just your average car that is a restoration that you want to get in primer, but you don't want it to rust before it hits the shop. And this is what the kit is designed to do. Now, what better car than to test it on than that 2003 Honda Civic that we don't really care about too much. So we can go ahead and put some primer on here and really test how it works. Let's check out what they have to offer. So the first thing we'll find is a very important are mixing cups because we're really going to learn about these in future uh, videos. It's going to show you how to mix your primers and what all those numbers mean, okay? Now let's take a look at the guts of the actual kit itself. Now we have two primers. We have a epoxy and then we have a urethane. Now typically your epoxies are going to all be direct to metal. That means they are going to protect the metal, okay? And they have a much better adhesion than your urethane, okay? If you were to roll urethane all over metal, eventually it could rust, whereas the epoxy Epoxy protects the metal and coats it appro appropriately. Now that's going to come with its activator, and when you mix the two together, okay, they harden. Okay. Now the same thing with our urethane. Our urethane comes with a catalyst. Catalyst activator they both do the same thing and they make it tight and hard okay now our high build is going to be more parallel with the um, urethane primers because it has more thickness to it to actually sand okay so we have a good amount um, of epoxy and a good amount of primer to use on the vehicle itself and we'll be able to do it right from our home garage without any sort of uh, spray gun or anything like that now they also did come with the kit it has a guide coat which we know it's about what, what it does it's going to find your lows and tell you when to sand more uh, you got your high build uh, urethane which we saw previously as well as epoxy this is pretty cool because you can get it in, in a can and, and protect your metal I know you guys are really concerned about your metal finishes. Um, now, it also comes with a couple Dura blocks and a wide arrangement of sandpapers. I actually have 120 and 220 at the shop that aren't here. I uh, was testing those out. And then you get to the guts of the actual um, kit itself. It's the roller, okay? Now, this typically just really looks like a roller system to me no different from what your house would be and i'm not going to open it up yet because i want to save it for the video but the main difference i see is that you know these rollers are so much smoother okay the nap is not as thick it looks like it's going to put it on really good so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to test this so i really want to put it to the test and i don't want to just say oh it's a great kit and it works what I want to do is I want to spray my regular urethane primer out of the gun right next to this stuff. I'm going to roll it on and we're going to do a test and see, is it really a good primer? Is it worth the money? Will it protect your paint? I know that because it's an epoxy, but can we get it on there smooth enough that when we go to sand it, we can actually paint it? Or is it too much of a rough surface that it's not worth it that we'd rather it come out of a harbor freight gun we're going to put this kit to the test on our next video and we're going to do some body repairs and we're going to actually use our epoxy in some cases and we're going to use our urethane in others maybe we'll use our epoxy first and then our urethane but stay tuned to find out i'm really excited to try it out and see what it's all about and see if it's really worth it so stay tuned for the next episode record and then i just want you to make sure you can see me pretty much if you're from here you can see me. Today, we are going to, eh. Oh, took a friend over. Went and, uh, da, 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 da. So upon, 
Baby, your diamond ring is just shining right in my face. <laughs>